Oh, there you go. The start. Sorry, um, my computer's playing up people. Um, a little bit slow to catch up. Now, where I left off, uh, it's the 15th of July 2015 at 12.43am uh, in the morning. Um, this is paperwork to be filed in um, Magistrates Court on Thursday morning. Um, I've only had uh, four days notice to prepare a um, case. Um, so I'm just going to go through each form and explain a couple of things on each form. Uh, the reason I believe it needs to be done that way. Um, you may have other people who will say that uh, no, you don't do it that way, or you, well, whatever. This is um, so far. This has worked for me once, um, and I will find out Tuesday if it works again. So have a listen. Um, I'm defending a um, intervention order on Thursday. Someone's trying to put one on me, so that's um, the background on that. In the last video I did, we'll um, give you the background on who he is and probably why it's he's doing this. Now the first form is uh, magistrates court criminal pro pro produce um, rules 2009 form 25. It's a notice of appearance. This form is filled out um, by normally by your lawyer. Now your lawyer will put a heap of bullshit on there. I actually haven't seen what they write on there, but um, basically that uh, they're your legal. Uh, uh, yeah, my computer's chucking another space. Yeah, uh, their legal department and all that bullshit, so they're part of the bar. So that's probably the paycheck to the bar, uh, notice of appearance. So they get paid for it, but uh, well, we'll see. Um, appearance, I've got Mr. Colin James Medley is an artificial en entity and a legal fiction that operates in bankruptcy under special appearance as an administrator of the estate of Colin James Medley in all in caps that is um, and up the top it asks you what court case reference the name of the informant which is well obviously in this case a clown who's trying to get the IVO on me then the um, name of the accused. Now, obviously, you put your name down as Colin James of Family Medley. Um, obviously, you know what, what you're doing there. Committal mention date. Well, you, if you know that, good. If you don't, who cares? That's their fucking side of the paperwork to sort that out. Um, I have been instructed to accept personal service of documents on behalf of the accused. And then you sign that. Um, name of the person handling the matter. Colin James of the Medley fam family, under special appearance as the administrator of the account of Colin James Medley, all in caps. Uh, your phone number, um, address, and all that, pretty standard. Now, the next one I've got is a counterclaim form. It's a, um, it's under form 10A. Um, quite easy to find on the, um, magistrate's website. Um, what I did, and was actually downloaded them all into one folder and went from. Uh, the problem is, uh, once you use it, you can't reuse it, you can't uh, delete and uh, reuse that form. Um, I don't know why, I actually haven't looked into it, but it may be a security uh, feature from their website. So um, all you have to do is go and download another copy of it. Some of them you can, some you can't, so um, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll work it out. So the counter, the counter claim, it's um, basically... Uh, in my case, it asks for a counterclaim amount. Now, I did put 300000 on this, um, but it's actually come up uh, 30, comma, triple O, comma, O, double T, dot, double O. So, you'd be 
maybe looking at uh, 30 million, but uh, yeah, I'll sort that out with a judge when it happens. Um, and my reasons why, why I'm lodging a counterclaim. Um, so the next form is a subpoena. Now, this problem he had with me, he claims he had with me, happened at his workplace, which had CCTV footage. So I um, put, I subpoenaed him to the court with a copy of the um, video. Um, maybe they should be in order, but um, the next one in this pile, I actually haven't sorted them out, which um, I may do at the moment while I'm doing this. Um, Uh, with covering his, um, I mean, you know, I'm dropout. I'll be the first to admit that uh, I'm not the world's best speller or I can't read 100%, but um, this is the next form to be used. Which is a form 4B. Don't know what that that didn't have a lot of detail on it. Um, but look like a uh, um, important uh, form, so I filled it out and I'll lodge that as well just to see um, what that does. Yes, I've gone through it and I've um, researched it, but yeah, um, a lot of big words in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. The uh, next one is I'm actually applying for a intervention order on these three people. There'll be another reason behind this, and that will come to light at a later stage. So I've got one for him, one for his missus or ex missus, one for his sister. Then the next one is a subpoena to attend court for the charges. Uh, there's one, one, one each for them, the three of them. Then I have my artificial charge and summon sheet. Now, it's whether or not the uh, judge is going to actually look at that and say, hey, you need to do more work for it, which I probably will. Um, or whether he um, orders the DPP to have a full investigation into um, this, then hopefully that doesn't happen because I'd like to prosecute them myself. Um, even better if that does happen. Yeah, that's when the fun begins and I'll have a um, jury of 12 people uh, for them so it's a fair trial and they're still going to lose so either way. All right, the last piece of last form is a affidavit of cost. Obviously, now there's a trick to anything you want the judge to read. All right, you can see on this one here, affidavit of cost, case file number, look, and the back page. That's my fee, fee schedule on the back page, just to piss the um, judge off, um, the fee schedule's on there. Now, the reason I'm trying to point this out is um, every document, every affidavit you want the judge to read, it needs to be printed on both sides. So when you see the judge do this, flip it over. If it's blank on the back of it, he can ignore it. And he does, and they do. He will ignore it if it's blank. So, even number, odd number, even number, print both sides of the page. Um, that's the trick I've um, learnt. And basically, I got told by JP, JP it's better off having it that way as well. Then you've got no blank pages. If you do, um, 
have a blank page in the middle do what I've, I've done spread it out over two pages but then you put a line through it that was a JP will tell you off oh, I don't like blank spaces but that's the way around that so um, what you can actually do is get them get some binding on them that way they can't fold them in half and jam them in between other folders which is also another trick they uh, try so if it's um, hard covered clear plastic so that you can see through it um, even better just to rub it in um, that cost you about uh, I think I got three of them done for about um, ten bucks or something so it's dirt cheap alright now these what I put aside before now obviously with the fee schedule um, my very first invoice in regards to this case will be produced on the day um, because I am sorting costs and I expect to be paid costs if they're going to continue with this if they want to continue um, and I'm basically giving them no choice but to continue so um, if the cops prosecute them um, I still get a chance to put in for criminal comp compensation um, but I'd prefer to sue them um, because I know uh, the coppers get hold of this they will uh, put them over the coals and no doubt he will get arrested and uh, well he should get, should get arrested anyhow but he, he may be incarcerated now he may be a prick and um, a thief um, but people have called me that before in the past but um, everyone deserves, deserves a second chance he just needs to squiff kick up the backside to fucking um, pull his head in now the next two posts, the next two bit, bits of paper is evidence. Um, I went on to, um, I was on Facebook one night, the other night, um, I was talking to someone who knows this person um, as well. They basically went onto his profile to see if there was anything written about me. Um, that's just a quick glimpse yes there is proof that on the 23rd of December last year he put a post um, in regards to me um, it's actually in regards to my uh, court case coming up in uh, September uh, it would seem Colin Medley, aka Colin James, aka, aka, aka. He's got a couple, couple of different names there. Whatever he is known by now is at his tricks again. Please be careful when doing business with him. Um, first person who commented was Joyce Heverton, I think. H A T H E R E L L, who I dare say has never ever heard of me, but until this day, uh, wrote, Is this, who is this man and what's his con? Uh, this person comes back and replies to that comment. Um, he states, He comes from Minyup. Well, I haven't lived in Minyup for over 37 years. He calls himself Handyman to Know. Uh, that was my um, previous uh, business um, name, which has been out of play for quite some time. Um, then the next comment, same person. Uh, does building work without a license? Was the fellow that got done for trying to sell a stolen bobcat? Um, that says it all by itself, doesn't it? Does building work without a license? Well, um, that's not what I've been charged with. Well, it's not even a charge, it's a summons. It's an invite to um, play basketball with them, I believe. Uh, it's building without a permit, you fucking dumbass. If you're going to fucking talk shit about me, get the facts right. Um, and 
got done for trying to sell a stolen bobcat. Yeah, well, that's fucking old news. Google my name and that comes up. I think it's number three. Um, but that's the only bad thing on that fucking, on Google about me. Have a look at it, you fucking idiots. In the past, there has been a lot of negative, um, uh, what are they, ads on, on Google or fucking links or whatever you want to call them, um, search results, uh, when you, when you, when I did my name, um, it's, taking me quite some time to clean that up due to the fact that uh, another long story which I'll get into well maybe another day but um, yeah so then the next comment same person overcharges people for and does inferior work well yeah alright and this Joyce has come back. Thanks for the heads up. Guy straight back. You're welcome, honey. Yes, he's single. And he's a con artist. Ask his um, ex-wife. She will tell you all about him. But um, part of this... Uh, um, part of this um, intervention order, he's got his son on the application uh, one I've never met his son and two I wouldn't even know who his son what his son looked like but um, that's all good uh, not to mention the um, address on the intervention order is actually um, 22 Roberts Avenue in um, Portion, which is um, well known to be the um, office for the Victorian Police in Horsham um, and right next door is the Horsham Courthouse so saying that does that mean I don't have to go because if I um, didn't turn up they would automatically place the um, intervention order on me and um, <coughs> and I wouldn't be able to step foot in the in the courthouse or the um, cop shop. Is that correct? Um, well, going by their paperwork, that's correct. And um, I'm actually going to make a joke of that when I first. Um, take authority of the court because uh, the judge is just going to sit there and shake his head saying well fuck you got everything right well you sound you talk the talk you're walking the walk um, where can I trip you up but um, not even their paperwork's done right so they cannot condemn me for my paperwork not being correct they had six years in um, in college or fucking ten years or whatever it is it takes to be a um, bar member <laughs> fucking <laughs> very dry sense of humour I have um, you'll get to know that over the um, course of my videos I'm not I'm no fucking camera expert you know just copying my webcam on the computer um, Maybe I should get one of those, what, blue screens behind me, put a big picture up there. This is actually my land room slash office. Um, it's big enough, I'm going to put a wall down the middle um, and turn it into two separate rooms, a land room and an office. What else? Oh, there's um, part of that case is... Another load. Alright, your paperwork. I better put this back together before I do anything else. Your paperwork. Um, get used to spending money on um, paper, ink for your printer. Um, 
one because you should have three copies of it all. What needs to be signed by a JP? You guarantee you will need three copies, if not four copies, if not five copies, depending how uh, how much you want to piss the, piss a JP off. You get ten copies. Um, they have to sign them all. But in this case, I've done three copies. I've got one of my own copy, um, uh, one for the prosecutor, or well, one for the judge. The judge gets his first, as he's the um, the so-called mediator in amongst the p pigeons. Um, then this is my evidence of posts by the three people the um, defamation of character the um, cyber bullying and whatever other law you want to throw in there um, as well but Thursday, here we come. I'm very confident in getting the their case thrown out, basically. Um, but they'll have no choice but to do that. Uh, the counterclaim um, will be uh, put in place, and also the intervention orders on the three people, including um, them against my um, having any connection or um, activity any, anywhere near my daughter because I guarantee um, they're just like my ex-partner they are bad, bad mouthing me to my daughter or in front of my daughter um, she's already coming up with things what shouldn't be coming from a four, four and a half year old's mouth so if you're listening, hope you are, pull your fucking head in, will you? It's child abuse. You might have been you might have jumped out of the fucking afterbirth bucket. My daughter definitely fucking didn't. Unfortunately, Avery may have a uh, mother who is a bipolar, um, diabetic, um, proven. Um, whether he's, whether she is on her medication or not, um, can um, I believe when she's on a on a medication, she can be quite calm and um, a very beautiful person. Once she stops taking that, um, like any female, you don't want to piss them off because you cop it, put up with it for so many years, and yeah, I had enough, and it actually did break me. Um, but such is life. Uh, I've been fighting an uphill battle ever since um, being separated. So um, I've got a lot of friends and family out there who are my support. And thank you very much. Um, quite, quite a number of you have known me for quite some time. Um, you probably think I'm fucking talking shit and fucking babbling on right now, which I am. I'm just trying to fucking waste a bit of time, make the fucking video go a bit longer, but that's just my sense of humour. Alright, um, any requests on videos, um, feel free. Um, I put them up when I can, and I try and share them. I have a, quite a few um, people watching my videos. Um, if my computer wasn't so slow, I could actually tell you. How many? There's one been up for not even a week now. Um, had over seven, eight hundred views. That's just by um, putting a link on um, Facebook. If it's only six or seven hundred people in the first week, fuck. Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Uh, well, the reason I am doing this is because. I don't want anyone to find it harder than I did to 
defend their rights in a Australian court, um, whether it's a kangaroo court, a supreme court, um, county court, whatever court, magistrates court, fines court, um, corporate court, um, business law, um, accounting law, court, whatever, whatever other fucking courts there are in this um, amazing country run by morons. Um, has everyone actually read the Lima Declaration from 1975 or 76 I think it might have been I think it might have been 75 uh, you know, it could have been the year after when I was born but um, being before I was born even better because that came into play um, before I was born so um, how else are we meant to react to a um, a a document like that. Alright, that's um, enough of this one. 26 minutes, 27 minutes, whatever. Um, enjoy, have fun, and um, it's the 15th of July 2015, 109 or 10 past 1 am. Good night.